thought I'd get a job with the Labour Party, write a novel in the evenings. Except I was 21 and had just been to a Kate Tempest gig. So two weeks before graduation, I told her that I decided to become a poet. And it was all going to be very exciting. In my garret, cigarettes and notebooks. Think Nemo in Bleak House, but with more Leonard Cohen. I'd get cats, have a string of lovers. Beat back the literati from the front door just as soon as I was discovered by the Guardian. Age 30, I have a husband, a dog, and every so often I appear in the Leicester Mercury. The novelty of telling my partner's parents, friends, that I'm a writer for a living has worn off. Now I just crumble into vague and babbling embarrassment. If I can't face it and will never see them again, I say that I'm an English teacher for fear that they'll ask, oh, have you written anything that we would have heard of? No, not unless you've got a good memory for vintage YouTube videos. <laughs> Even T.S. Eliot kept his job in the bank, didn't wander blindly with swaggering enthusiasm into the abyss. How I despise all of those quiet girls I went to school with, whose mothers always said they couldn't come swimming because they had too much homework to do, whose profile pictures now show them swimming in the Bahamas with two privately educated daughters they can afford to raise, not camping in a field with their parents, who they themselves were hoping that retirement would bring freedom from weekends away with their permanently broke and scruffy youngest. In response to the news of my future career path, my mum asked me why I felt more people didn't become full-time freelance performance poets. <laughs> uh, because they're boring. Uh, they probably never thought about it. Maybe they just knew they'd be rubbish. Because, mum, some of us are born to be accountants and some of us are born to be artists. This too was my response when drinking in the student union, specky men make fun of my Mickey Mouse degree. And they are now working in banking. <laughs> Oil. Managing wind farms off the coast of France. I go round to my mum's house once a week to see what she's got going off in her fridge that I can eat. <laughs> Who knew there was so much to pay for as an adult? That a pension wasn't something as far off as my own mortality? Little and Aldi have become the lifeblood of my existence. My optimistic savings accounts are long ago depleted. I now only service my car at the tried and tested half price garage. I pace the house searching for possessions I can sell on eBay and still nobody wants a copy of Sliding Doors on VHS. <laughs> Who needs disposable income when you've got three of a five act self-aware yet deprecating one woman show and that's it in your heads. Who needs a house, a mortgage, Gas and electricity, a phone, the internet, a car and foreign holidays, a laptop, a telly, savings for when the boiler breaks, trainers, new clothes, insurance against all the things that can and do go wrong, the world's smallest but inexplicably most expensive dog when you have <laughs> so many feelings and the means to express them through the power of art and a bloody well-crafted poem.